Sheen Shop. Yeah, boy. Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at Gep's Blade and looking at all the steps you will need to take to get it. This is another one of those really cool weapons from Caldera that has a negative effect on it but does massive damage. It makes you negative 30% weaker to ethereal attacks but does an ethereal explosion upon impact. This makes it extremely effective against multiple targets and gives you the one up against robot or construct type enemies such as gargoyles and golems. Another really cool fact about this sword is it has two different versions, the long blade and the one-handed sword. When you find the blade itself, it will be a long sword called the mysterious long blade. If you throw the mysterious long blade into your crafting section and craft it by itself, it will transform into a one-handed version. Make sure you pick whether or not you want the long blade or the one-handed version before upgrading it. In order to get this sword, you will need to first find the Mysterious Longblade. It will randomly spawn in five different locations in Caldera. If you're headed to find the sword, make sure you check all five locations without moving on to a different task. The sword will move every few days, most likely every three days, so you need to start and finish the task before it moves around on you. Now, I managed to capture footage of every location except one to prove where all the locations are, and I will go over those now. Vigil Pylon. This is the only location I could not get the sword to spawn, but it should be directly under the pylon somewhere. The hill this pylon is on is very small, so you should be able to tell pretty quickly whether or not it spawned there. Outside New Sirocco. So if you head towards the entrance to New Sirocco on the right side of your map, you will see a lava river on the right side there. Follow this up until you run into a dead end with one rich iron vein. The blade will be located to the left of the iron vein. Grotto of Chalcedony. This location is near the giant Chalcedony crystals in front of old Sirocco. If you look at where I am on the screen, you will see that I am above the bridge that's in front of old Sirocco and kind of off to the left of the Chalcedony crystals. The blade is in a small flat area that dips down into the ground here. Wooden Jetty. You will also find the longsword near this wooden dock. You will be able to see the Tower of Regrets from here, but the best way to find this dock is to leave the Primal Ritualist's hut and head into the hole in the rocks behind the rundown village there. Old Sirocco. For this location, you will need to be able to head into Old Sirocco, which requires you to complete your faction quest first. Once inside, you can exit back out into Caldera through a door on the other side of the giant lava hole in there. After you exit, just head left and the sword should be under a tree there. You can then let down a bridge in this area that will allow you to get over here without going through Old Sirocco. Okay. So now we have the long sword, but we still need to upgrade it. Remember to turn it into a one-handed sword if you want, and then look for three Gep's drink. These are the drinks that Gep himself will leave behind for you if you manage to die and be saved by him. That is not a very good way to get these, however, because Gep will not always save you every time, and also we don't really want to go around dying. Luckily, there are three Gep's drinks you can find in Caldera, and they aren't far from the spots you need to check. Drink number one. There's a skeleton on the other side of the bridge that you need to let down after exiting old Sirocco through the back. The drink will be sitting at its side. Drink number two. There is another skeleton on the wooden dock that holds the second drink. Remember that this is the dock you can get to by leaving the Primal Ritualist's hut and entering a hole in the mountain there. Make your way over to the oil refinery marked on your map. Once you reach the entrance, turn right and walk under the pipe and up the hill. On your left, there will be a building with another skeleton sitting behind it. He will once again be holding the drink you need.
All right, so at this point, you have the longsword, all three Geps drinks, and have chosen either the longsword or the one-handed sword. You can now combine the sword with the three Geps drinks in your inventory to get Geps sword. It is worth noting that if you happen to upgrade the wrong version of the sword, let's say you wanted the long sword, but you accidentally got the one-handed sword, you can actually turn it into the other if you get a Geps generosity. This is much more endgame since it only drops from unique hidden bosses and has a very small chance to drop from the Gladiator's Arena chest in New Sirocco. This sword is really cool and probably one of the best swords simply because of how much impact you can deal due to the AoE it has. You also get a really good ethereal weapon and ethereal is pretty powerful and outward. It's a really good sword that can be very fun to play around with and honestly isn't that hard to get. You would just need to check 5 locations and then grab the drinks required to upgrade it. A little tedious, but you won't have to fight anything or solve any puzzle to get your hands on it. Grab this weapon if you want a really good sword, or if you're one of many people who just likes to hoard really cool stuff. Hopefully this guide was helpful for you guys, and consider leaving a like if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next one.